welcome to gk mojo and today we are going to start mixtures and allegation part one so what we are going to do in this particular video is discuss concepts related to mixtures and allegations right and then do some practice problems and over the course of this uh, parts on this particular chapter like mixtures and allegations as usual we will cover the most important questions that are often seen in your entrance examinations let's get started basically what is a mixture mixing of two or more qualities of things produces a mixture so when two items of different qualities are mixed the quality of the resultant mixture lies between the quality of the original constituents that is it will be higher than the lowest quality and lower than the highest quality of the item being mixed so similarly if two products of different prices of unit per unit are mixed the unit price of the resultant mixture will lie between the prices of the two types that form the mixture so if q1 is the quantity of one particular item of quality p1 similarly q2 is the quantity of another particular uh, of another item of quality p2 and when they are mixed the weighted average value of p of the quality of mixture is given by p1 q1 plus p2 q2 upon q1 plus q2 this is the weighted average all right so we will understand this with the help of examples as we go through another very important concept that we will learn is allegations all right what is this allegations this will help you to solve a lot of problems there's one rule of allegations and it is written as quantity of cheaper upon quantity of dearer is equals to rate of dearer minus average rate upon average rate minus rate of cheapo all right so this is the fundamental formula that is used to solve the allegation all right basically dearer price and here it will be cheaper price here average and here it will be dearer minus average and here it will be average minus cheaper all right this is called the allegation butterfly and what are the implication for this and how this is used you'll understand it when we solve the problems this dearer price is the good quality or expensive uh, product all right and this is the cheaper product this is the average uh, price when these two products are mixed all right and whatever ratio whatever number you get over here let's suppose you get over here m1 and here m2 the ratio of this m1 is to m2 is the ratio of the dearer quantity and the ratio of the cheaper quantity all right so this is the implication of this allegations let's get started with the problems and straight away dive into the problems or the templates basically that are often tested by examiners in your aptitude examinations let's have a look at the first question t worth rupees 135 per kg and 126 rupees per kg are mixed with a third variety in the ratio 1 is to 1 is to 2 all right so this is the ratio given in which 135 per kg 1 to 6 per kg and the third type which we do not know all right let it be x per kg <coughs> rupees x per kg so this is mixed in this ratio 1 is to 1 is to 2 if the mixture is worth rupees 153 all right so when the weighted average of all of this mixed is 153 per kg the price of the third variety will be so they want to know what will be the price of the third variety all right let's get started so first what we'll do is since first and first and second varieties are mixed in equal proportions so their average price will be 126 plus 135 divided by 2 all right let's suppose 1 kg of this is mixed and 1 kg of this is mixed all right so average price will be 126 plus 135 divided by 2 which will be 130.50 rupees per kg right so now the mixture is formed by mixing two varieties one at a time rupees 13 
पॉइंट फाइव जीरो रुपीज पर के जी एंड द अदर एट दिस वन रुपीज एक्स पर के जी सो दिस इज डन इन द रेशो वन इज टू वन वाई वन इज टू वन बिकॉज दिस टूगेदर इज टू राइट एंड दिस अलोन इज टू सो दिस विल बी वन इज टू वन बिकॉज नाउ वॉट वी हैव डन इज वी हैव कंबाइंड दिस मिक्सचर राइट सो बेसिकली नाउ वी कैन डू द एलिगेशन ओवर योर सो वन थ्री जीरो पॉइंट फाइव जीरो ओवर योर and this x comes over here all right mean price is 153 all right and what we will do is x minus 153 over here after allegation and this comes out to be 153 minus 130.50 right and this ratio is 1 is to 1 the quantity ratio so basically x minus 153 upon 153 minus 130.50 that is 22 Point five zero is equals to one. Hence, x is equals to one fifty three plus this twenty two point five zero. And hence, the correct answer is x is equals to rupees one seventy five point five per kg. All right, and this is the price of the third variety of tea. Let's have a look at the second question. A merchant has thousand kg of sugar. part of which he sells at 8% profit and the rest at 18% profit he gains 14% on the whole the quantity sold at 14% profit is so you would be thinking that this is not a mixture problem but actually the concept of allegation can be applied over here so let's suppose this 1000 kg out of this he has sold x part for 8% profit and y part for 18% profit but the total profit which he has got which is the mean profit after mixing both the call it uh, both the prices is 14% so now we'll apply simple allocation rule over here first part second part first part has been sold at 8% profit second part has been sold at 18% profit what is the mean profit 14% let's apply allocation over here 18 minus 14 is 4% and 14 minus 8 is 6% so quantity 1 is to quantity 2 what is the ratio over here it is 4 is to 6 which is 2 is to 3 right what do we want to uh, the quantity sold at 18% profit is that is quantity 2 so quantity 2 forms three parts so 3 upon the total of it 3 plus 2 5 into what is the total kg is 1000 means 1000 5 1 the 5 2 and the quantity comes out to be 1600 kg so the correct answer is the quantity sold at 18% profit is 600 kg let's have a look at the next question a can contains a mixture of two liquids a and b in the ratio 7 is to 5 when 9 liters of the mixtures are drawn off and the can is filled with b the ratio of a and b becomes 7 is to 9 how many liters of liquid a was contained by the can initially so suppose the can initially contains 7x and 5x liters of mixtures of a and b respectively so quantity of a in mixture left after this 9 liters of mixture was drawn off it will be 7x minus 7 by 12 into 9 which will be equals to 7x minus 21 by 4 and how did this come All right, seven x initially is the quantity of uh, liquid A. All right, nine liters of the complete has been taken off. Right, so how much part does A form of uh, this seven complete mixture? Seventh part, seventh part of seven plus five, which is twelve. All right, and nine liters has been taken out. So out of this seven by twelve part is A. Hence we have subtracted that. All right. Similarly, how much will be the liquid B remaining? It would be five x. Minus five by twelve into nine, all right, and this comes out to be five x minus fifteen by four liter, all right, and this ratio of these two quantities is given to be seven is to nine. This is what becomes seven is to nine. So when you cross multiply and when you get the denominators over your CM and take the LCM, you get twenty eight x minus twenty one upon twenty x. Plus twenty one is equals to seven by nine, and hence by solving this equation, you get x is equals to three, which is the correct answer, right? So they have asked you 
how many liters of liquid A was contained by the can initially. So initially it was 7x, the value of x is 3, so 7 3 is 21 liters. Let's have a look at the next question. The cost of type 1 rice is rupees 15 per kg, type 2 rice is rupees 22 per kg. So the first sentence itself tells us to use allegation. Alright, so I'll place the cheaper quantity over here which is 15, rupees 15 and rupees 20 over here. Right, if both type 1 and type 2 are mixed in the ratio 2 is to 3. So we have been given the quantity. Alright, then the price of price per kg of the mixed varieties so we have to find out this mean price right so let us do the allegation first all right so here it would be 20 minus m and here it would be m minus 15 right and this ratio has been given as 2 is to 3 right so 20 minus m upon m minus 15 is given as 2 is to 3 do cross multiplication you get 60 minus 3m is equals to 2m minus 30 right so we bring this 30 over here 90 is equals to 5m and hence m is equals to 18 what is this 18 this 18 is rupees 18 per kg which is the price per kg of the mixed variety of rice so let's have a look at this question a mixture of 150 liters of wine and water contains 20 percent water how much more water should be added so that the water becomes 25% of the new mixture? So basically this question is pretty easy but understanding part is difficult over you. So this 150 liters what they are talking about is a mixture of wine plus water. Now they have said water is 20% of this mixture. So basically 20% of 150 is 30 liters. So this is the water. So wine is 120 liters right. And mixture is 150 liters so they want to so they want you to increase water in such a way that it is one fourth of the complete mixture that is 25 percent so just observe over here this is just a game of numbers if you add 10 over here 10 liters so similarly 10 will be added over here so this will become 160 and this will become 40 liters and if you see 40 liters is one fourth of 160 that is it is 25 percent of the mixture right hence the correct answer over here is 10 liters and you need not solve this by any hi-fi or complex method this is just a game of numbers very easy question understanding part is a bit tricky so that's all in this video please visit us at jkmojo.com thank you